ኢትዮጵያ ከጥንት የነበረች ከተማ ነች ኢትዮጵያ በመጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ብዙ ስፍራ መመልከት ትችላላችሁ ባራተኛው ክፍለ ዘመንም የኦርቶዶክስ ሃይማኖት በኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ እንደተጀመረ በታሪክ እናገኛለን በአፍሪካ ብቻኛ ምንም አይነት የቅኝ ግዛት ያልተደረገች አገርም ኢትዮጵያ ነች እንግዲህ በዚህ ሁሉ ማለ ያለችው ኢትዮጵያ አሁንም የእግዚአብሔር ልጅ የሆነው የክብሩ ቀጥ ብርሃን የወንጌል ኃይል ያስፈልጋታል ብለን እናምናለን ለዓለም ህዝብ ሁሉ መፍቴ እንደሆነ የምናምንበትን ወንጌል ብቻኛ መፍቴ ነው ብለን እናምናለን የቤተ ክርስቲያን ተከላ ቸርች ፕላንቲንግ በኢትዮጵያ ስመለከተው ያለው የመጀመሪያው ተጽኖ የመጀመሪያው ቻሌንጅ ድህነት ነው የቆየና ስር የሰደደ ድህነት በመድራችን ላይ እንዳለ ያደባባይ ሚስጥር ነው ብዙ ነገሮችን እንዳንሰራ እየከለከለን ያለ ብቻኛ ጣላት ነው ብዬ መናገር ይችላል ደግሞ ደስ የሚለው ነገር አሁን የምናየው እድገት ደግሞ አለ ያደግንም ነው በብዙ ነገሮች የተሻለ ነገሮችን እናያለን ተስፋ እናያለን ሆፕ እናያለን ደግሞ አሁን ያለው መንግስት ለሃይማኖት ንጻነትም ስለሰጠ ሁሉም አይነት ሃይማኖት የመስፋት ደግሞ ወይም ደግሞ የመውረስ ግሬ ያመጣል ባለልም ግን ሁኔታውን ተጠቅሞ አጋጣሚውን ተጠቅሞ ብዙ አይማኖቶች የሚሰፉበት የሚችል ሁኔታ ነው ሌላው ያው ከደነት ጋር የሚያዝ ኤችአይቪ በሽታ ስለሚያስጨንቅ ያም ትልቅ ተግዳሮትን ያመጣል ላገልግሉት Moen Wandi could have lived the American dream. Wandi had been in the United States for 14 years. They were both on their way to green cards. Instead, they returned to Ethiopia to plant a church for the sake of the gospel. Well, one of the challenges they face here simply is finances. Uh, the culture is very poor. It's, it's very wanting. It's very needy. Their church actually is reaching into the middle and upper classes of Addis Ababa. But even stating that everything here is very very expensive. So for them to teach on giving uh, and 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 help the church to understand the importance of giving has been a, a real challenge for them where where money is short and uh, the economy is very fragile. When you're planting churches in an area like Addis Ababa, um, the church really needs to think about going out and caring for the poor in their community because so many people are suffering, so many people uh, have that kind of need. Uh, the scripture says that uh, true religion is to, to care for the orphan and the widow in their affliction, and that's what this church in Addis Ababa wants to do. They want to care for uh, the orphan and the widow uh, as they suffer and also come behind that with the truth of the gospel. Most of the peoples around here is the Somalian peoples. They come from the uh, Somalia area, just they are living here. They are most of them, uh, it's almost all of them from the Muslim background. And we are just trying to explain them about the love of Christ. Just we are trying to just explain about everything what we have in our, in our hearts. Most of Ethiopian peoples are not just welcoming the Somalian people. but we are trying just to address the love of Christ for them.
Typically, they begin their churches uh, by starting a Bible study. When Wanda came to be a part of Covenant Life Church, he got involved in the church wholeheartedly. He got involved in discipleship programs. He participated faithfully. And while he was there, he was supporting Mo in the work back here in Addis. In 2002, he invited me to come and, and see what was happening. And when I came, I saw the grace of God. I saw men whose lives were changed. I saw people who had been converted through Mo's ministry. I saw young men being discipled. At that time, we invited Mo and Wandi to go to the pastor's college. And uh, in 2003, they returned here to plant Covenant Life Church of Addis Ababa. When I first came in 2002, the Bible study on Friday night had about 300 people in it. When I returned a year later, it had grown significantly. And five years later, returning and seeing the Friday night meeting with over a thousand people and the church with a similar attendance, it is very, very encouraging. But it's not just the numbers, it's the passion of the people. Really, it's becoming a strong local church here. And um, their goal eventually is to be self-sustaining. It's a long-term goal, and it's a goal that they want to achieve so that they can plant churches all over Ethiopia and perhaps even back into the United States to the Ethiopian community there. When I was here, we saw the establishment of the first church plant of Covenant Life Church of Addis Ababa in an area where there are several hundred witches registered by the government, because the witches here need to be registered. To see over 300 people gathering in the fourth meeting was very encouraging. We were amazed as we watched individuals literally walk in off the street and sit down and listen to the gospel message. I'm very excited that this church is going to have a significant impact in evangelism, in discipleship, in the northern side of Addis Ababa. Mo and Wandi have returned to Ethiopia to live in a standard of living that is below what they would have had in the United States, all for the sake of the gospel. They've been able to start in strength because of your investments. I'm so grateful to you. I wish you could come here to see the fruit of your investments. Thank you.